Welcome to this latest edition of Doorway to the Paintings. I have an interesting painting for you tonight. Really like this one. I like the colors and the concept, the style. It's mostly impressionism mixed with some reality. You can see the buildings in the background and then the street light and then the light reflecting on the bushes give it some reality, but it's a mixture. Uh, mostly impressionism though, as you can see by this room in the objects in the room really like this painting a lot and uh, it's late it's time for doorway to the paintings and i'm really gonna get into this uh, pretty deeply or as deeply as this can go uh, there are inspirations behind this painting and uh, it was fun painting it and uh, it's definitely one of my favorites so let's get ready and take a look at it Yeah, this painting here, it, it might look a little pink on camera, but it's actually red. The room is red. And uh, blue and red are my favorite colors. I think I might have mentioned that in another video. But yeah, I've always liked red and blue, blue and red. Yep, he's having a good time, enjoying his simple life. This uh, city outside's abandoned, by the way. It's empty. As you can see, there's none of those characters that I usually put in there. <laughs> but yeah, this is a scene that you'll see in a lot of my paintings with the street light, the bush that's illuminated partially by the street light, the buildings, dark black shadows around the structures, the columns, the the pillars. I love it. This guy here has got a simple setup here. Simple drink. Old-fashioned kind of TV. It's got a fireplace. Wood-burning stove, I should say. Yeah, a lot of inspiration went into this painting. Again, the old man kind of representing weariness. You have this scene outside, typical in a lot of my paintings. Got the street light. Again, Halloween, part three, was a heavy influence uh, when I painted this painting, especially the, the freeway type overpass there. And I made it look somewhat like an overpass, but also like ancient Greek pillars or columns, or Roman for that matter, either way. Got the street light with, against the bushes. The Halloween movies uh, were a pretty heavy influence on me uh, for a lot of my paintings, because I like the cinematography. Dean Kundi, what, just so many different... Uh, scenes where the photography was excellent and then of course the music was awesome john carpenter's music was really awesome and then the, all the music especially in the first uh, four halloweens primarily the first three and i'm sorry i can't remember who did everything in part three in terms of the music I think it probably was uh, one of the best scores that I've ever heard. Yeah, this painting here is one of my favorites. I like the colors. It's it's exaggerated. The colors exaggerated and extra bright. The old man living a simple life now realizing that all this stuff in the past that he really worked hard for and strived for, all the stuff he bought, all the material things that he bought, was not really making him content. It was actually, in a way, making him a prisoner because he had so many possessions, so much to take care of. It didn't leave him content. 
he got used to it he got bored those things took up space and just caused more stress later <laughs> not everybody feels that way but a lot of people do comes a point where you get bored with too much stuff and you just why I'm just bored and it's just taking up space yeah this city I had just imagined it abandoned he's got that view and since there's no one out there he doesn't have to worry about noise I don't know what's in the drink but he seems like he's enjoying it <laughs> yeah I think uh, Nightmare on Elm Street was in definite inspiration for the colors that I chose in this painting the red the black there's no green in here except for the bushes so if you just besides the green kind of the red I think red and black also subconsciously that New Line Cinema logo that flashed at the beginning of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 1 and 2. I think they had it in Part 2 also before New Line Cinema went to another uh, illustration, another type of opening. But I always like that red and black flashing sequentially. New Line Cinema, it went in sequential form, flashing. That left an impression on me when I was a kid. I mentioned in another video that when I was seven, huh, they took me to see Nightmare on Elm Street 1 and The Evil Dead Part 1. It was a double feature. And it was, I'll never forget it. It was fun, it was interesting. But both of those movies grew on me later, especially Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, and then later, The Evil Dead, more and more two classics I like both those movies a lot probably Nightmare on Elm Street the best but both of them are awesome yeah this painting was probably I think this is my newest painting I haven't painted for about eight months because I got burned out but I think I did this about eight months ago. This might have been my last, very last painting that I painted. You got your realism outside with the street light and the bushes and then the, the structure. And then you have your impressionism on the inside here with things not looking quite real. But I like it that way. It gives it a lot of style and character. Think about your little Christmas town, you know, that you set up on Christmas to look at. And a lot of the characters are exaggerated or like Chris, uh, Christmas ornaments with the little soldiers and the little snowmen and the people playing music. If, if uh, they looked exactly real, they would lose a lot of their style and character. Yeah, the colors in this one, I really like it. There he is. Socrates himself. <laughs> Just kidding. But I would be... I wouldn't be completely honest if I told you that Socrates and Plato doesn't come into my mind whenever I paint a guy like this with a beard and... What's on TV anyway? Kind of looks like Dante's Inferno. <laughs> but I uh, I just put red images on there to indicate television. The wood-burning stove. Yeah, I like the simplicity of this painting. I'm glad I didn't uh, make it look too real but some of some paintings that I have I have made look pretty real sometimes I think paintings need that sometimes I think they don't a good artist will be able to choose when and where to do the right thing to make the painting look better gee those dark windows what's in there 
what could possibly be in there. Doorway to the paintings. Go right in. <laughs> but uh, the black shadows, the dark shadows around these pillars, these columns, or freeway overpass, if you prefer that, it's all in there. I, I had all that in my mind when I painted it. Just, I imagine it without any people in this one. Be a, that'd be really cool to walk through a city with no people just to see what it was like in the shadows and it'd be kind of creepy but if you knew no one was around it would be pretty fun hmm yeah he's just got a simple place here a floor and simple table that TV's got little knobs and buttons on it antenna <laughs> it's all rather simple but that's the charm of the painting yeah and then just that that uh, keep that keeps coming back to me that line in Plato's Republic when he's talking about Socrates and Socrates is speaking to an old man in there and the old man talked to Socrates about having peace in his old age because when he got older all the natural passions and jealousies and angers kind of faded away so he felt freedom and peace because those emotions no longer had control over him that's not exactly what he said but that's what i got from reading it makes a lot of sense i think he called those passions uh masters or cruel masters but I might have forgot have to get that it, that book is over there Plato's Republic I have it here in the room I should probably get it out during one of the episodes and read a couple passages whenever I have a, a guy in here that reminds me of Socrates or Plato yeah, I really like this painting. It's one of my favorites. I think that New Line Cinema, the black and the red, really had an influence on the coloring in this painting. The hat doesn't look too much like Freddy Krueger, but if you take the gray part off the band around it, it would. Then it would look similar to it. Well, I hope you like this painting. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed painting it. I enjoyed looking at it again. It wasn't that long ago that I painted it. I think it was about eight or nine months ago. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and like it, and I'll be back when the moon is up and it's dark after midnight for another edition of Doorway to the Paintings. At least that's the plan, guys. So take care, everybody. Have a good night.